Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator, and we've got some history from the Cold War, specifically the NASA space missions. So, what we have here is an intricate piece of Cold War era technology. It's an Omega Speedmaster that was chosen by NASA for space missions. This is part of a, col a private collection. Uh, this watch was worn by Deke Slayton. Uh, very historical indeed. Let me just give you a little background here on Mr. Slayton. Donald Kent, also known as Deke Slayton, was a bomber pilot during World War II, flying over 50 missions. After the war, he became a test pilot. His pilot career paved the way for him to be selected as one of the original NASA Mercury 7 astronauts. But due to a medical complication, he was not cleared to fly into space. He then went on to become NASA's first chief of the astronaut office and director of flight crew operations. In 1972, after years of battling his medical condition, he returned to flight status. In 1975, he flew his first and only space mission as part of the Apollo Soyuz test project. This right here is uh, a pen of Deke Slayton's Apollo Soyuz. You can see it says Deke Slayton on there, Apollo Soyuz. It does have a number on there, the AG-7 space pen uh, made by Fisher. And everything had to get approved that was going into space. And, and this had to get approved and signed off and had to be reliability tested. So you see, you just push the button there. And then there's a button on the side right where the uh, clip is. And then that releases the pen back into the chamber. So now we move on to the Omega Speedmaster. The Omega Speedmasters uh, were chosen from a, a group of a small group of watches as uh, reliable as they can be and uh, they had to go through some rigorous testings and the Omega Speedmaster proved to be the most reliable watch so NASA chose that. This is uh, an Omega Speedmaster that on the back here you can actually see it says uh, flight qualified by NASA for all manned space missions. And then there's the Speedmaster symbol with the Omega. Uh, first watch worn on the moon. So this watch uh, dates into about the 1970s. Uh, 69 was when uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. That was a major accomplishment for Americans and the US government to land a person and put a person uh, on the moon. At the time, both superpowers, the US and the Soviet Union were in conflict with each other during the Cold War. But they both had a common interest, and that was space exploration and research. So that's where the Apollo Soyuz programs came into play, uh, where you had uh, Russians and Americans working together. The Soviet partner of Deke Slayton, he would have worn this. This is a Strela. Now this is an actual production Strela, and this is what his counterpart, Alexei would have been wearing during the Apollo Soyuz. Uh, these Strellas were also worn by KGB agents. It's a pretty decent watch, you know, I'd probably want to wear this one. So moving on, um, there were some other watches that we would talk about uh, that would be related to the space uh, programs. Right here we have a Belova. The Belova really wasn't meant to be a space watch. It was actually worn on space by David Scott who brought it as a backup and the company CEO of Belova had given him this watch as a prototype and wanted to have it tested on the moon to try to win the contract for the space watches. Well, David Scott's Omega Speedmaster coincidentally broke and he put on the Belova and he wore it while he was on the moon. Now, the Belova sold at auction for over a million dollars uh, when it popped up with moon dust still on it. This Belova watch right here is a commemorative reproduction of the same one that he would have worn on that space mission. And another piece of uh, Deke Slayton history here is this jacket I'm wearing. It's a pilot's jacket. And as you can see, uh, it definitely has the Top Gun patch. He did go to Top Gun. NASA, obviously, he was part of NASA. Over here, you'll see this is the Apollo Soyuz uh, program patch. And then on this side, this is the shuttle patch where he was uh, part of the shuttle program as well. 
So, Deke Slayton's pilot jacket, also a very cool piece of history. So yeah, guys, let me know if you collect timepieces, watches, pocket watches. Let me know what your thoughts are on our collecting some of these things. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook, Battlefield Curator. And as always, be sure to learn history and curate history. Make it a great day. It's not every day you really get to wear astronaut stuff.